Vice President, the floor is yours. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Thomas. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, uh, thank you and your team uh, for all the work which you have been uh, doing during the last uh, six uh, months. Uh, the Estonian Presidency uh, managed to make uh, progress on many challenging files and keep them high on agenda. Uh, so let me uh, start with uh, tax. Uh, you conclude your presidency with uh, several landmark decisions on tax. Uh, a decision was made by member states today on the list of non-cooperative tax uh, jurisdictions. And uh, we welcome the fact that uh, this list, as well as a list of those uh, countries that have committed to raising their standards of uh, tax good governance, have also been made public in full uh, transparency. Uh, uh, member states uh, must continue to ensure that all countries on the commitment list uh, uh, abide by the promises that have been made and will be uh, uh, working on this uh, during the next year. Uh, we are ready to assist in this regard, but as I said, uh, uh, these are lists compiled by member states and therefore we invite ministers to ensure a strong follow-up on today's decisions. Uh, from European Commission's point of view, stronger countermeasures or defensive measures would have been uh, preferable. So uh, we hope that the work will continue in 2018 to deliver stronger defensive measures. Uh, on our side, we will uh, work to ensure that the measures already included in legislation at EU level are applied. Uh, the Commission welcomes today's agreement on the VAT e-commerce uh, package. It consists of uh, a series of uh, measures to improve how VAT works for online companies in the EU. Uh, just to give one example, the new system will be uh, particularly attractive for startups, micro-businesses and SMEs uh, selling goods to co uh, consumers online to other EU member states. Uh, companies with cross-border sales under 10,000 euros a year will be able to deal with the VAT on the same way as they do sales uh, in their own uh, countries. Uh, we are also setting up so-called one-stop shop, an easy-to-use online uh, portal to allow companies that sell goods to consumers online to deal with their VAT obligation in the EU. Uh, this is yes, uh, yet uh, another boost uh, for online companies and e-commerce in a context of digital single market following the recent decision to end unjustified geo-blocking uh, for consumers shopping online. Uh, and the agreed system will also help member states to recoup the current estimated 5 billion of, uh, euros of VAT lost on online sales uh, uh, every year. Uh, in this context, the proposal also abolishes the VAT exemption for goods coming from uh, uh, outside the EU and valued under 22 euros. It's uh, <coughs> estimated that uh, uh, fraud from lab labeling as a high value goods in small packages as inexpensive goods has caused a loss of uh, 1 billion euros in uh, revenues for EU member states. Uh, today's uh, decisions uh, form a part of our ambition to rethink taxation in the era of digital economy. Uh, we welcome the Council conclusions on digital taxation as adopted today. They will act as an EU's input uh, to the OECD work on this topic. So we look forward to the OECD report on taxing the digital economy due in uh, spring next year. Uh, we uh, have always uh, said that we prefer concrete and workable multilateral uh, solutions to this global problem. We are keen to see innovative solutions coming from the OECD-led process on digital taxation. But the European Commission also stands ready to uh, move forward with our own proposals in uh, spring uh, 2018. So, uh, moving to the European semester, uh, ministers also discussed the economic and social priorities for the next European semester cycle, and they broadly uh, share our analysis, which we presented a couple of weeks ago. Uh, on the fiscal side, ministers approved our recommendation to abrogate the United Kingdom from the excessive deficit procedure, and the Council also adopted a revised recommendation to Romania, after we concluded that it has not taken effective action to correct a significant deviation from its medium-term budgetary objective. Uh, Romania should now undertake a structural adjustment of 0.8% of GDP uh, in 2018, which could also uh, ease concerns about Romania's uh, uh, fiscal sustain sustainability in medium term. 
Uh, finally, we had a substantial and constructive debate on completing the banking union. Uh, the uh, banking package which we presented in November last year is a most immediate milestone. So I'd like to uh, thank you, Thomas, for the determined work uh, uh, which allowed us to make a significant progress on this uh, file. We have an agreement on so-called fast-tracked uh, 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 fast uh, elements of the package, and we urge the member states to continue uh, working and to reach a compromise as early as possible in the first quarter of uh, 2018. Uh, on uh, the banking union, risk reduction and risk sharing should go hand in hand. So I'd also like to thank you for the good technical work carried on European Deposit Insurance Scheme. I trust that, that, that the discussions will be pursued and uh, accelerated during the Bulgarian uh, presidency. Uh, uh, I have also reported to the ECOFIN today on progress in implementing the Council Action Plan to support Member States' efforts in reducing non-performing loans. We had seen uh, good uh, progress. Average non-performing loans ratios, uh, ratios had come down from more than 6% in 2014 to 4.5% uh, in early uh, 2017. Uh, we are now uh, progressing well on various elements, including in our action uh, plan, and we will pre present a broad package of measures in spring 2018. Uh, in, uh, in, in the context of uh, completing the uh, banking union and uh, achieving a, a true uh, capital markets union, I would say that those are also important uh, uh, priorities for the stability and economic performance of economic and monetary union. We will uh, present tomorrow uh, our new proposals to strengthen Europe's economic and monetary uh, uh, union. And in a context of banking union, the more private risk uh, sharing we can achieve, the less public risk sharing we will need in the euro area. Therefore, it was good to see that ministers broadly share the sense of priority when it comes to completing the banking union. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.